Obviously, AI's growth is exponential. ChatGPT alone has disturbed everything from education to the copywriting industry, and Microsoft announced its plan to embed the technology in its own search engine. This started an all-out Royal Rumble, where every major tech company suddenly wanted to show just how shiny their new toys could be. And Google and Microsoft are duking it out in what people are calling the Artificial Intelligence Wars. And OpenAI isn't pulling its punches with its latest development, ChatGPT4. It can recognize images and it's smarter than ever before, which can lead one to wonder if any industries at all would be left unaffected. I mean, it's so good that a petition is going around that is practically begging OpenAI to pause training on more powerful systems until we know that it won't kill us. And it's supported by important people like Apple's Steve Wozniak and Elon Musk. Right after this, Google releases their off-brand version called Bard. Microsoft Bing gets image generation support. Microsoft Suite receives AI capabilities and companies like Nvidia and Adobe make their own announcements. But then, all hell breaks loose when Microsoft claimed GPT-4 showed sparks of general intelligence, or AGI. This wasn't supposed to happen for 20 years. On this episode of AI Focus, we dive into the rapid progress AI is making and the immediate implications this could have for us right now, including who will lose their jobs. And stay till the end to see the latest images AI has been generating because they're unbelievable. We'll also give you some ideas on how you can use AI to your advantage. So with that being said, buckle up, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. We're starting to do research on this early version of generative AI, and researchers found that professionals who use ChatGPT are putting in half the time on their tasks and increasing the quality of their input by 20% at the same time. Having ChatGPT is like having an expert assistant on any topic with you at all times. The interesting part is that new applications for ChatGPT are being found every day, and not even its creators are aware of everything it can do. Frankly, GPT-4 was released to a world that had no idea of ChatGPT's true capabilities. OpenAI expanded the capabilities of its text generation AI again. ChatGPT-4, which it's called, has increased its output from 3,000 words to 25,000 words and has now become multimodal. This means it can analyze not only text, but images now as well. But along with understanding the image, it can also explain and interpret what's going on inside the image. In the real world, this means GPT-4 can look at the ingredients in your fridge and make a list of the dishes you could make from them. It can solve image-based photos and can understand and explain humor in photos. One of the craziest things it can do is create a website from scratch after being shown a cheap drawing on paper. And it's even better at logic. Forest is to tree as tree is to plant, leaf, branch, and mangrove. GBT 3.5 reasoned that since forest is a collection of trees and the word tree is a single unit that makes up a forest, then the answer must be branch as a tree is made up of many branches just as a forest is made up of many trees. Asking the same question to GPT-4 gives us a different answer, but with the same reasoning. The analogy is one part to a whole, just as a tree is part of a forest and a specific part is a part of a tree. The answer it gives is leaf. So who won? It is leaf. Pretty impressive. Its deep learning capabilities have also been upgraded. Its scores across multiple reasoning benchmarks have increased considerably, reaching human-esque levels of common sense. GPT-4 even scored in the top 10% of the bar exam, a far cry from the bottom 10th GPT-3.5 scored in. This even surprised the OpenAI team. According to OpenAI, this boost in reasoning has made GPT-4 likely to be 40% more factual than 3.5 and 82% less likely to respond to disallowed content. Now you may be asking how the team at OpenAI achieved these results. Well, you won't find out. And that's by design. In the release papers, OpenAI stated that it was for two reasons, competition and security. Microsoft is putting pressure on OpenAI to keep the tech a secret, which is basically the opposite of what OpenAI claimed to stand for. There's a war going on, and Microsoft intends to win it. This could get scary, and we'll tell you why in a bit. If you're enjoying this content and you want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please subscribe to the channel 
and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. One week after GPT-4's release, Microsoft scientists released a paper stating that GPT-4 was showing signs of artificial general intelligence. Quote, we demonstrate that beyond its mastery of language, GPT-4 can solve novel and difficult tasks that span mathematics, coding, vision, medicine, law, psychology, and more without needing any special prompting. Moreover, in all of these tasks, GPT-4's performance is strikingly close to human-level performance and often vastly surpasses prior models such as ChatGPT. We believe that GPT-4's intelligence signals a true paradigm shift in the field of computer science and beyond. Given the breadth and depth of GPT-4's capabilities, we believe that it could reasonably be viewed as an early yet still incomplete version of an artificial general intelligence system. So, it's not AGI yet, but we could be there sooner than you could say doom and gloom. So you may be watching this video and thinking of your own experience with ChatGPT, and it's not at all that impressive. Well, maybe you're not using it right. Take a look at these people who have figured out how to use ChatGPT to do amazing things. One user was able to create five microservices for a new product in three hours with the help of the new ChatGPT. The same task normally would take a human developer two weeks and $5,000. Check out this user who was able to create an iPhone app from scratch that's already available in the App Store. ChatGPT can now even create video games like Snake, Tetris, and even a Doom prototype. It was able to find multiple vulnerabilities on an Ethereum contract, and this was made possible by the extended output and input. This extended output also allowed the CEO of LinkedIn to release the first AI-created book. One user even created a movie by combining Midjourney, GPT-4, Runway Gen 1, and Boomi AI. Check out this clip made entirely by AI. It's taking views of the planet's rugged terrain and unique rock formations. Take a hike or take a ride on a Martian rover and immerse yourself in the natural beauty of this alien world. When it comes to a user asked GPT-4, how it could be as rich as possible starting with $100. After four days, the user was up to $15. More in line with this, a Chinese company recently made an AI their CEO, and since, their company stock has outperformed the overall market for seven months now. Companies are creating all types of services powered by GPT-4's capabilities. Here's one that crafts personal bedtime stories for kids, one for matchmaking, and one for crafting lawsuits. Most impressively, there's an app for the visually impaired that helps them with their day-to-day -day functions. Duolingo even has a new feature that allows you to study with an AI tutor. So how far are we from AI taking the wheel and kicking us out of the car altogether? Its creators say this new model was developing long-term plans while accumulating power and resources to carry them out. While testing for potentially risky behavior, GPT-4 lied to a gig worker on TaskRabbit telling them it was visually impaired and that it hired a human worker to bypass capture restrictions. Despite this, the current model could not improve itself on its own, even with the research. But when will it be able to? This is the chilling question no one knows the answer to. And how about jobs? Who's most at risk here? An open AI study presented the most at-risk jobs, and unfortunately, the future isn't too bright for most people. According to them, Almost no one is safe. 80% of US jobs will be affected by 10% or more, and the numbers will largely reflect this throughout the world. The most affected will be high finance, insurance, data processing, publishing, scientists, and central banks. The least affected were agriculture, wood manufacturing, food, mining, and construction. The most upsetting thing is that most of the world has no clue this is happening, and they will be completely caught off guard. Usually, competition is good for the consumer, but this time, this may not be the case. As companies move faster to implement AI within their systems, less care is being taken to make sure the public is actually safe. GPT-4 wasn't supposed to be released this soon, and that's even stated in their technical reports. Microsoft seems to have put pressure on OpenAI, and this was confirmed in a leaked piece of audio by John Montgomery, Microsoft's VP. He said the pressure from CTO Kevin Scott and CEO Satya Nasselli is very, very high. If that's not enough, 
Microsoft fired their entire AI ethics team. This to me sends a clear message of neglect of our safety. More and more companies will likely follow this trend of releasing models in order to keep up with their competition, throwing ethics to the wind. This could have dire consequences because there's always the risk that the next version will not behave in a way we can predict. At the same time of GPT-4's release, companies like Apple and Amazon announced their own plans to launch language models, and the cost to train AI has plummeted. For example, it cost $4 million to train ChatGPT. Stanford's Alpaca language model, though not as impressive as GPT, only took $600 and five weeks to train. This will open the floodgates for every company to create their own models, whether we like it or not. Next, we'll look at the latest developments in the AI war. But before we get into that, Midjourney has just released its fifth version, and some of its images are so realistic, I had to show you. Let's take a gander, shall we? And remember, we'll look back and say that this was only the fifth version of this tech. Now for the latest news in the AI war. The releases have only seemed to get faster and faster in the past few weeks, with Google and Microsoft both announcing their own work-related AI applications. On March 14th, Google released new AI features to their Google Workspace, but was once again quickly overshadowed by Microsoft's own AI updates on its Office applications. And then there's the battle for search, which has Google absolutely crapping its pants. Microsoft has had GPT-4 installed into Bing, which is a genius chess move, seeing as the only other way to use it is to pay for it right now. Not to be complacent, Google released an API for its own language model, Palm, and then they released their Bard AI to a select group of users. And unfortunately for Google, it sucked. But don't sleep on Google. If anyone has the resources to jump ahead of the pack, it would be one of the most powerful companies in the world. All this innovation in such a short time has caused Bill Gates to speak up. On March 21st, 2023, Bill Gates announced that we've entered the age of AI. He saw GPT score an A on a college level biology test last year, and that was what did it for him. GPT is passing the bar exam now. We have now entered a new chapter in human history, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments below. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.